Dear audience, I've been receiving complaints lately that I am a fibber, a liar whose pants are on fire. I felt these accusations deserved a personal, thought-out response. I do not tell tall tales. Every word that pours out of my mouth is true. Since the day I was born, I have not said one untrue thing. Why, me and Honest Dave used to debate back in the day who told the truth more. Females. Quickly, take a look at your man's armpit. Now look at me. Now back to his armpit. Now back to me. Feeling a little lightheaded? Wishing he were as awesome as I am right now? Well, he never will be. But now he can smell like me. Try Nerd Spice. It's the aromatic equivalent of 200 lavender scented oxen stampeding down the boring streets of Beobin. Now, I have a pocket protector. Are you turned on now, ladies? I thought so. Turn around. Now look at me. I am a Jedi. This is all possible due to the power of Nerd Spice. Now blink once. Now I'm on a scooter, and I've invented a new sport called lightsaber jousting. Does your man invent new sports? I don't think so. But now he can with the power of Nerd Spice. <laughs> What's that smell? Mm, smell of greatness it is. <laughs> I mean, ladies don't like scooters. Uh. Hello there. Do you see this? This, folks, is what we like to call in basketball terms the triangle offense. Now, I'm going to drop some basketball info on you today. Coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, Phil Jackson, and all his 11 championships and all his glory really belong to me because I am the true Zen master. I am the one who showed Phil the way. I was there when Jordan was frustrated. I was there when Kobe and Shaq first had their struggles. All in all, I am the one who created the triangle offense that has brought Phil Jackson to fame. So, the next time you're watching a game, remember this face. You know, it might change next episode. Because this is the face that brought you all those championships. Hey, yo. So how many times in the past have you tried to get your literature on, but all those pesky words just keep getting in the way? Too many times, am I right? Of course I'm right. So check this out, Point Dexter players, because I've got a solution. It's called Shakespeare Word, and it's got all the plays you want to get down with, but without all those complications of the these and thous and hey, nani nani's. Yo, peep this. We've got everything you want to read. Check it. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Hi, Poppy. I'm Titania, Queen of the Fairies. And can I just say, you are looking fine tonight. For reals? Because I haven't feeling like such an ass lately. Othello. How are you going to play me like that, Death? Sneaking out to get with my homies? That's just jacked up. <laughs> That's straight up classic. Romeo and Juliet. Yo, Romeo, where are you at? Let's just change our names. Cause all these player haters, they just aren't worth it, you heard? Much ado about nothing. You know what? I really can't stand you. Yeah? Well, same to you, you talentless wackadoo. So you want to make out? Yeah, all right. And more. So yo, pick up your phone and get your credit card ready and dial 1-800-WORD-UP to order your favorite Shakespeare plays on Shakespeare Word. That's 1-800-WORD-UP. Must be 18 years or older to call. But hey, Shakespeare, it's for the young, the streetwise. You heard? Holla! And now it's time for the random madness of Crazy Craig. I'm Crazy Craig, and I wanted to let you know that I'm totally bad inside. You don't believe me? Watch this. <laughs> Fly, you damn duck! Fly! 
This isn't beef, it's kangaroo! And don't ask me how I know that! Ah! You're crazy! No, you're crazy! Shut up, you're both crazy! I like cheese! I like cheese! The Amazonian pygmies, they're gonna take off the world! We're no match for their pointy stick technology! I like cheese! I like cheese! Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a pan? Wait, you don't? Well, f you then! Ah! Dancing time is the best time of the month. Check this out. I think that man has my pants! That sneaky bastard! Squirrels, ladies and gents. Do you know the truth about squirrels? While the world may see them as furry little pals, I know the truth. Back when I used to tend a nut farm, I had a first-hand encounter with the bushy-tailed bastards. They wanted my nuts. My precious nuts. I managed to discourage the first wave with my hose, but sadly I didn't last against the second assault. They lassoed me with some kind of wire and tied me up like a hog. I was forced to watch as they devoured my entire farm. Damn, dirty squirrels!